What's up, guys? Ian here, coach of your Ludner Lantern, bringing you guys our Week 10 match of the UPA D-League, taking on Supreme Sean and the Alyssa Craig Cutie Flies. Um, if you watch my team builder, you'll note that I had no idea what Alyssa Craig was. Turns out it's actually a municipality um, in Ontario. I should know this. I'm also Canadian, uh, but it it's, it's, looks like it's a very small place, so um, I I'm not surprised that I didn't know where it was um, but I'm glad that I sorry I actually got it all wrong because it's Ilsa Craig and I've been calling it the Alyssa Craig uh, cutie flies the entire time so my apologies Sean that is completely on me for not reading um, yeah basically that's all there is to it so anyways we're, we're past that I still have no idea why Skyla is part of it she's a flying gym leader and cutie fly doesn't have flying typing at all but it doesn't matter that's why I thought it was Alyssa Craig, but there you go. Okay, anyways, down to it. He could have brought Zygar 50%, which didn't come for some reason. Very shocked about that. Z Cartana, not surprised to see that. Meg Gyarados, not surprised to see that. Doug Trio, I'm a little bit surprised to see, to be completely honest. I wasn't entirely sure how he thought it was going to match up against my team. Comfy, which I'm really surprised didn't come. Azumarill, Breloom, I'm not surprised to not see Breloom. Crobat, Ariados, I am surprised to see the Dodrio. I didn't think he was going to bring Crobat plus Dodrio. I've noted that my flying resists are very poor. I noticed this. Um, I noted this, sorry, against somebody in the past. I can't remember who, who it was. But yeah, my flying resists are very poor. Uh, someone had bird spam. And I don't know who it was. I cannot for the life of me remember who actually had bird spam. Was it nobody? Okay, I swear I've talked about this before, but there you go. Uh, maybe this is the first time that I've actually encountered... This is definitely the first time I've encountered something like a Staraptor or a Dodrio that can just spam things like Raybird against me. I don't really have great flying resists. It's basically Heliolisk. So um, I guess Dugtrio complements Dodrio as a win condition. Um, although I'm not entirely sure that Kartana is not the win condition. I don't know. There's not a lot that I can think about this game right now. But there you go. Uh, if you haven't seen my team builder, I'm a Sash Tornadus uh, with Taunt. U-Turn, Toxic, and Air Slash. Rocky Helmet Amoongus, fully physically defensive for the Kartana, the Breloom, uh, the Zygarde, Mega Gyarados, the Comfy. Um, Zygarde and Comfy didn't come, so I don't really know what I want to do all that much with the Amoongus set. I'm a Scarf Gardevoir, uh, SD, Akaberry, Scissor, actually. And Rocky MZ High Dragon with Z Head Smash, uh, fully physical. And I am an Assault Vest Heliolisk, meant to de uh, designed to take on... Um, like Vikavolt, which was a gigantic problem for me, and um, also the Drompa. Uh, but there's like no special attackers on this team, so I'm pretty sketched out about that with my Heliolisk. Uh, in reality, its job is probably going to be to kill the Crobat this game, and that's going to be about it. Maybe kill off the Gyarados. Um, part of the job is that Az Azumarill was never able to Aqua Jet my Heliolisk, so I was always in a position to be able to kill the Azumarill, but Azumarill didn't show up, so. There you go. I'm just going to lead with the Tornadus. It's got the best lead in the entire history of leads ever. Um, pretty much everything loses to Tornadus that, that could possibly lead against me here. So uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do is lead my Torn as he's going to lead with the Gyarados. So I figure this is my opportunity to stop this thing from setting up a Dragon Dance in my face turn one. He turns out to not Mega Evolve and he's going to Thunderbolt me. This is actually heavily special. Um, this is like timid max special attack Gyarados. I have absolutely no clue what to think about this i'm scared out of my mind um it is only base 70 special attack though so not the greatest i, I throw off the toxic here and he actually gets the t-bolt para which ends up really sucking um that's actually gonna really bite me in the ass later on into the game but i uh, just go hard high dragon on on the t-bolt he would have killed me there but um from here i can just click head smash uh relatively freely even if he's mega i believe head smash will kill i probably should have just clicked z uh, but I wanted to save Z for the Crobat for some reason, just in case I just in case I missed the Crobat. I, I want it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna click Raw Head Smash. We're gonna be able to pick off the Gyarados. I, I probably should have clicked Z because I would have saved myself a lot of health, and maybe would not have brought in the Kartana, which is actually <laughs> Life Orb. Uh, and it turns out Psycho Cut is gonna be able to kill my Amoongus from this range because he's Life Orb. So not a ton of stuff going right for me, even though I'm up 1-0 here. Um, I, I'm actually just gonna double into my Scissor. Um, on what I expected to be a Psycho Cut, but uh, I figure the Ariados is safe anyways. You know, he's just going to get out of webs, whatever. I can just win with the game with Scissor here. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually get 
get pretty greedy here and go for another sword stance thinking that I would need it. Um, I didn't actually need it in reality. I probably could have just clicked bull punch here and been fine. Or bug bite, um, although it is resisted, I, I probably would have had to calc that. I, I never ended up calcing this. I just go for another sword stance and he's just going to knock me out here with a foul play. Um, really greedy on my part to sack my scissor like that. Uh, and then Tornadus isn't going to be able to pick off the Ariados and he's going to be able to do agility in my face. Uh, here's where things get really sketchy because I, I should outspeed this Ariados if it's at plus two, I believe, um, because I'm near max speed Tornadus. So, like, the para is really going to cuck me here because I could have just killed this Ariados right here um, if I wasn't paralyzed on Tornadus. But I am paralyzed, and unfortunately, he's going to be able to baton pass into the Doge Rio as I get fully paralyzed, so I don't even get a chance to click Air Slash against this. But luckily, I'm not paralyzed on the turn where he goes for Sword Stance, um, and then uh, he's just going to be able to knock out my Torn and, and move on from there. Um, I'm in a position where I have to scout for, like, Jump Kick with Heliolisk, but it turns out Return is going to kill me anyways, so he's not going to risk the Jump Kick, but I am going to scout for it anyways by going into my Amoongus, force him to take some more Rocky Helmet Chip. I feel like Heliolisk is still valuable enough to me to take on the Crobat in a sec, um, that I can force him to take more Toxic Damage and two rounds of Rocky Helmet, um, which is going to put in his Doge in a position now where I have to choose one more thing to sack. Uh, granted, I probably could have for I'm not entirely sure if plus two return or Brave Bird would have killed my Hydra from this position. Um, I, I basically forced him to have a sack, but I, if I had clicked Z against the Gyarados earlier, then I, I would have been a much healthier High Dragon. Um, but yeah, it, return is going to kill me from this range, and now the Dodrio is finally going to go down. So we finally get rid of the Do Dodrio, but Crobat's definitely an issue. I figured Gardevoir was my better lead here. I'm not entirely sure why he didn't just go Doug Trio. Um... Like, in theory, Doug Trio would have just beat both of my last two Pokemon here had he just gone to Doug Trio, but instead he goes Crobat. So I'm just going to lock myself into Psychic. I, I really wanted to have a reverse endgame here where webs weren't on my side of the field. I could trace Beast Boost from Cartana and win the game from there. Um, he's definitely attack invested Cartana, so he's going to be an attack boosting Beast Booster rather than a speed boosting Beast Booster, which means that it wouldn't have been able to reverse sweep me anyways. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to pick up the Infiltrator here, unfortunately. Uh, but we are going to be able to kill off the Crobat because he's special and he doesn't have cross poison. So um, I'm going to live the Sludge Bomb comfortably. And now Doug Trio's in. I guess maybe he was scouting to see how much bulk my Gardevoir had on it. Uh, but Doug Trio is going to be able to pick off the Gardevoir and the Heliolisk. So unfortunately, we take the 3 0 loss, which would move us to 4 and 6 minus 3. Still very much in the realm of possibility of playoffs. Uh, it requires Ichan to lose at least 3 0, if not 4 0. Um, so the Destiny is not in my hands, except. For the fact that speed pass is actually banned. So let's go back to the turn where Ariados is in here and sets up the agility. This is fine. But because I'm paralyzed and he's faster, he gets the speed pass off. And right here, he's actually lost the game. So I actually win this game 5-0. Because my Sizzler was dead at the time of the Ariados clicking speed pass. Um, and so we're actually going to move to 5-5 five and five plus 5 to finish out the season. Which puts a lot more pressure on Ishan. Because he needs to 6-0 to beat me out in a tiebreaker. Because alphabetically, my team name comes before his team name. And that's a tiebreaker for some reason. So, yeah, um, we're currently sitting in the 8th playoff seed with 5 and 5 plus 5. I'm not sure why this is a thing, but it is, I guess. So, yeah, um, feeling pretty good about that, I guess. Uh, you know, shoutouts to Sean for speed passing. It's been in the rules all season. I, I don't know what to say besides that, man. Like, uh, Sean didn't have a shot at making playoffs regardless of, of a win here. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> in terms of what he did. Um, I definitely prepped very lazily. I think a couple things I could have improved on. I probably could have just scrapped Taunt for Defog on the Tornadus. And that probably would have ended up being a lot better for me. Uh, I think clicking Roxy against the Gyarados was a much safer play anyways. Because I don't know if there was actually a guarantee that Head Smash would have killed the Gyarados from that range. If it had actually Mega Evolved. The reason he didn't say Mega is because he wanted Stab Hurricane. Uh, he was running Hurricane, he wanted uh, Stab Hurricane on the Gyarados in case I switched to the Amoongus. I was actually afraid of Flamethrower, 
against the Amoongus because I thought Flamethrower was a good bring against the Scissor anyways. So I wasn't switching an Amoongus on, into that once I saw that it was specially invested. Uh, I didn't have the best answers to a special Gyarados, but uh, you don't really expect Gyarados to be the special attacker on a team. Gyarados Crobat, sorry, to be the special attackers on the team. Um, it's still kind of weird to me that he brought Nasty Bat. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I could have had Giga Drain from my Mega Swampert. I talked to him a little bit about Comfy, uh, and he mentioned that Scissor always revenged Comfy, which is very true. It's it's very true, and his team in general was extremely Scissor weak. Uh, but I feel like if I had brought the Rain, that this team had an inherently poor matchup against Rain um, with a Defog Tornadus. Like, uh, you know, having his only strat against Rain essentially to be Sticky Web. Um, is pretty sus to me. I, I mean, he had ways of hitting my Pelipper on the Gyarados, right? Which, in theory, could be my Gyarados check, but he was invested Thunderbolt. So, um, like, I understand his his counter terrain in a sense, but it, it definitely looks like had I brought the Mega Swampert and Pelipper over something like the Gardevoir and the High Dragon, maybe, um, and maybe like a Scarf Heliolisk, I probably could have just run my way through this game. Uh, or a Shed Shell Heliolisk even, and then just like saved it against the Doug Trio and reverse swept with Swamper or something like that. I think I definitely would have been in a better position had I brought the rain. Um, you know, because he actually went for the speed, it's pretty hilarious that because he paralyzed my tornado, I would have killed the Ariados before it could have got the speed pass off. Um, but it's pretty hilarious that because he got the 10% para against my Torn, that he actually lost the game 5-0 instead of winning 3-0. So um, I don't know. There's not really much more to say about that. Uh, like I said, Ishan actually has to 6-0 his opponent this week, who is Scotty, um, the London Luxuries, who we played back in week um, 6. Uh, no, 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 5? 7? No, no, 8? 8, sorry, 8. Um, he took over Fizzle's team. He's got the Garchomp, the Infernape that didn't come against me. Uh, the Mega Pidgeot Thunder Ethereum team. I'm not entirely sure what Ishan's matchup looks like, because I... Haven't played Ishan this season. So uh, if it does come down to a tie break, I, I don't think the admins are going to let it go alphabetically. Uh, I can't imagine in any way how that's fair for me to get the playoff spot over Ishan if we both have the same record and didn't play each other in, this, uh, in the season. Um, but my pattern continues where we lose in odd weeks and we win in even weeks. So uh, I guess we'll take that. I probably didn't deserve this. My avatar is screwed up for this game, as you can probably tell. Um, we played on Draft Frontier, which is broken. Uh, Carney ended up trying to fix hacks, in quotations, by lowering rates of hacks, which I think is just incredibly stupid in the first place. Uh, the game is designed a certain way. We play it a certain way. Don't go trying to change that, in my opinion. But um, I, yeah, uh, it may have been a symptom of Draft Frontier. It's pretty hilarious that since Draft Frontier broke, this is my first game back on it, and I, I win by, by speed pass rules breaking. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So, uh, yeah, in terms of who our potential playoff opponents could be, if you expect to see playoffs, uh, obviously I'm not going to have, like, an update video or anything just saying, oh, yeah, there, here's playoffs. You guys will just see playoffs. And if you don't see playoffs, you'll see my end-of-season recap. So, basically, if you see end-of-season recap next week, that means <laughs> that Ishan beat me out in the tiebreaker match or whatever. Um, actually, if there's a tiebreaker match, I'll be posting that for sure. But... Um, yeah, otherwise, we have a high likelihood of playing Stibe if he wins in this week. Uh, if he wins this week, we will definitely play Stibe, I should say. Uh, and Stibe plays... Who's he play? Oh, Helsinki, I jump kicks. Stibe plays... Ange and the main Absols. Um, that's probably not going to be a very serious match because they're both clinched and Ange has absolutely nothing to play for. I, I believe she doesn't even have seeding to play for. Um... Yeah, so it's either Stibe or DS. Um, actually, I'm not sure if they have, like, a head-to-head -to, -head to look at here. I'm just curious. Do they have a head-to-head? -head? So Stibe and DS actually did not play. So there's absolutely a chance that they could tie for first place as well. Uh, and in that case, we would play DS. Uh, because I believe we're locked into the eighth seed, the, the final seed, um, is, is how I'm seeing it here. It, it, I believe we're locked into the 8th seed, and uh, because Stibe and DS did not play, as long as Stibe um, only wins up to 3-0, then we would play DS, who we actually beat earlier in the season. So I talked a little bit about that in the team builder, but um, it's looking like those are going to be one of our two opponents. There's no chance we play anybody else. Um, it's one of them, if, if we make playoffs. So keep an eye out for team builders and whatnot. Uh, this is probably the lowest seed I think I've ever had going into playoffs. 
if I even make playoffs, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, I've had a fent I've had a really fun season, honestly. It's been a weird team. It's a team that sort of fits my play style, but I haven't been necessarily optimally building. Um, and I think that there are definitely some lacking factors on the team. Like, the, my rocker is a pretty subpar. It's basically an across my Mega Swampert, right? So, um, definitely things to look into in future drafts, but I wanted to have a little bit more fun with it. Uh, I've been rambling a little bit just to sort of extend this, not necessarily because I get ad revenue, because I don't. I, I'm not paid for this at all, but just because I didn't want this to be super duper short, considering I actually won the game at turn 10 when he speed passed. Um, yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully we're in playoffs, and I will see you guys next week. Either way, with a tiebreaker, a playoff match, or our end-of-a-season recap.